what this sure. is? Matter so of fact, uh, what you have basically right here is a semi-auto 12 gauge pistol. You've got your standard AR type controls on it. You have your bolt release here. You have your safety selector right here. Magazine well, magazine release. Sorry, this is part of the takedown. All of that, you have your bolt handle. Um, you have your rail in. Not really conducive to sights, although they do come with it. Um, if you do try to use sights, it could give you some cheap dental work. Do they? What is it? Iron sights or a red dot? It's their flip up and flip up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So it's mostly a, almost like a hip fire. All the time. Yeah. Um, what I tell folks is, you know, put your favorite tack light on it, yeah. and whatever your tack light's illuminating, that's probably pretty close to where it's going to hit, and just start feeding it doses. Yeah. You know. Cool. Let's take a couple shots. No problem. Magazine just goes in, standard. I'm gonna have you go ahead and step up to the line. Go ahead and hit your paddle right here. Drop the bolt. And then you have your selector right there for fire and safe. Cool. And just push it out, huh? Yeah, push out hard. Don't get it behind your face, though. <laughs> All right. Here we go. There, you there go. we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> that and we're out. Shots. Here we go. I'm safe. That's a little bit, a uh, little bit ornery. Yeah, that's definitely a, a like a five to ten foot range kind of, yeah, it's, kind of weapon. It's for close in, a, you know, personal combat, uh, clearing a hallway, something like that, or just going out with your buddies and just. You having know, fun yeah yeah absolutely. seeing who's the best hip shooter in the bunch cool and then it'll take obviously the small and the long long yeah mags. this thing takes the five round mags all the way up to the 19 round mags w will it run and with it, a drum too uh, i haven't ran it with a drum but i don't it. know why it wouldn't yeah probably would. anything that'll take the br80 br60 magazines um it'll it'll run on cool right on there you go so that's the vrf 14 right yep that's correct Okay. okay, we have your 2011 nine millimeter. It's the wide body, it's the double stack magazines. How many does that hold, by the way? This will hold uh, 16. 16 of nine millimeter. Nice. Yep. Which is pretty pretty rocking for a 1911 platform. Yeah, it is. Um, these are super stable. They're very comfortable to shoot. This particular one comes with your under rail right here so you can add your ta favorite tactical accessory to it um, it also has the ambidextrous safety on it the grip safety with the memory bump and the fully adjustable uh, sights and we were looking at that model on the table you can put a red dot on the newer ones right yes they're going to be available with the uh, red dot to take like the vortex venom and, the, and those style where they have the radius on the front and the back very nice cool how much do these sell for by the way just curious uh honestly i just work on them i don't really know how, how, what they're priced at i think it's like 900 bucks yeah that's pretty they're, they're somewhere between 9 to 11 depending on where you shop and yeah. you know what the conditions are cool if you're in some states that may not be available yeah Right on. All right. So, magazines in it, standard controls. All right. So you got your magazine release, or you can do it over the top. There you go. All right, here we go. Ah, it's so soft with nine millimeter. It's very good. Yeah, that's so, that's so nice. That weight, actually, I like the weight. It soaks up that recoil. That's yes. nice, man. Um, yeah, I want them to do one of these in 38 Super. Because <laughs> 10, 10 millimeter, man. I need one in 10 millimeter. Yeah, we have that right there. Oh, we got to get a shot of the 10 millimeter. Let's go. Yeah, it's, the recoil is going to look a little different. <laughs> uh, 40 bucks, I think. Got to get 10 millimeter. For those guys that are... Uh, Using this yeah. as a guide gun, right? On but the it, it's a great gun to carry. Yeah, if you're looking in the, yeah. into the yeah, message, back up or something, a ten millimeter. Especially what last I'm seeing. So this one yeah. here tends to be very popular. Has the threaded muzzle if you want to put a gentleman's accessory on it. I like it. All right, let's uh, let's talk about this here real quick. Okay. So what do we got here? This is the 2011 uh, double stack in ten millimeter. 
has a thread protector on here in case you want to put an accessory on the end of the the uh, the weapon itself. Suppressors, muzzle brakes, you know, things like that. Um, crazy things people will do to these. It is a bowl barrel, so make sure whatever device you have is compatible with the bowl barrel on there, because uh, that makes a difference on these of whether they'll run or not. Okay. Because it, you know it has the requirement for the booster to be able to actuate the slide. Gotcha. Anyways, and like got you that. said, th this will be available with the red dot as well, right? I believe that all of the 2011 models mm -hmm. are going to be available with the red dot. Cool. Very cool. Capacity with 10 millimeter? As you're still at like 15. 15. Okay. So you're just a little bit under what the uh, 9 millimeter has. Still 10, 15 rounds of 10 millimeter. You'll get amazing. tired of shooting 15 rounds of 10 millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Got, uh, what do you guys got to do? What are you trying to promote this? All right, uh, thank the, you, sir. Uh, all right, here we go. 10 millimeter. There's going to be some recoil on this one for sure. Uh, this SDK? Still not bad. That's actually not bad at all. It's very manageable. Yeah. And we're up. Again, you're down to the the picture of the extra weight on it. Yeah, I like you that. have the extra weight on the frame because this is an all metal frame. There's no polymer in any of this. That's what I like about it. And then you have the under rail right here, which is pretty hefty, as you can see. That's full size and and uh very massive right under there so that gives you a little bit as far as carrying it goes it might be a little on the heavy side but you know that's that's for your discretion i'd just put it on a chest rig and be done with it yeah if you're gonna i mean if you're gonna make this your backup for going out hunting and you want this to be your bear gun or whatever your last ditch um this would not be a bad choice yeah i like it very cool thank you sir you're very welcome have a good one brent all right See you guys. So, yeah. for the for the uh, gunfire, not at the moment. I'm not on the phone. <laughs> oh, okay. This is for I my ears. For my, Does it help? Actually? Does it work? Yeah, the, the noise can. <laughs> okay, cool. Apple makes it So yeah, give us a rundown. I mean, I know about it, but obviously you're the pro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're a software-based company. Couple of drones. So we have, we have one that's uh, yeah. you know, more of a. Yeah. There's enterprise use cases, but this was originally claim to fame when it came out as a commercial drone that followed people doing activity. It's got three cameras on the top, three on the bottom. They're 4K cameras, 200 degrees. They see the world around it. They're all tied into a NVIDIA uh, NXT2 chip. So it's basically a flying supercomputer and it paints a, a 3D bubble. Of, of, it paints a 3D model of the world as it's flying. So it understands the objects and flies around them. Um, that skill set gives it the ability to follow you and not hit things and keep its eye on you. So it recognizes images, it recognizes people and cars. So you can just tell it who to follow and it'll follow them. The beacon is an added feature where you can put it on yourself and go. And the drone's going to always stay with this with a GPS connection. So if it loses sight of you, it can re reacquire you because you'll have the beacon on. And then so, I noticed these are new, right? This is the Skydio 2 Plus. These are antennas that increase the flight range. Better connection. It's got a longer battery flight from 23 minutes up to 27 minutes. Um, Speak to flight range. Uh -huh. uh, how many miles, kilometers? So up to six kilometers with this one, um, and that just depends on the RF environment that you're in. You know, further when you're out in the middle of nowhere, not not as far in an urban environment with a lot of interference. But definitely an increased range over the original model. Um, I, I like the fact that. that you can just put that in your pocket, hop on a motorcycle, and go. Right. How fast does this follow? It goes up to 36 miles. An hour. 36 miles an hour. That's right. pretty great. So most of the activities is going to keep up with you. Yeah, mountain biking, kayaking, whatever. And you can have it follow you from the front, the back, yeah. any any angle, and you can change it as you're as you're going. That's cool. So it's a great a great tool. A lot of the videos you see online uh, are this drone. And then there's the Skydio X2, which is designed for. Uh, yeah, we'll I haven't seen this. It has the same exact intelligent design in terms of the three cameras on the bottom, three on the top, seeing the world around it, understanding the world around it. Um, purpose built uh, for the military, and so it's really popular for enterprise use cases, public safety, um, military. Uh, it's foldable, very rugged, 35-minute uh, flight time. Wow. Comes with it. 
dedicated controller. So it's a really uh, uh, easy drone to fly, quick to get up in the air. Uh, and because it understands the world around it, you can concentrate on the screen and the drone will see the world around it. And it lowers the cognitive load on the pilot so they can concentrate on what they're flying to see. So this one's not really designed to follow you. <laughs> this one has software capability to do that. Um, it just depends on your software features. Think of it like a smartphone. Yeah. You can just upload the skill sets like applications on the drone. So some of these drones won't have that capability. Others will just depending on the, the individual's use cases. Yeah. Um, it's got a dual sensor up front. This one has a single 4K color camera. 60 frames per second. This one has that same uh, EO color camera on the front. In addition, it has a, a FLIR uh, thermal. Oh, wow. 320 resolution. So nice. It sources uh, in the day in the shade or obviously at night. Now, this one won't fly at night. It's daylight or visible light to fly. This one flies both day and night. That's awesome. Yeah. This is, um, I think this is what, just over a thousand? Depending yeah, on you package. can get them online um, with uh, limited uh, accessories for about a thousand. Um, it goes up from there. An additional <laughs> a la carte, you know, <laughs> typically you'll spend $200,000 on it. And to get into this, I'm assuming is... This is much price. more expensive, right? Yeah. How much is something like that? You know, you're, you're anywhere between 15 and 20-ish with the software. Yeah. Yeah. More like a professional grade. Right. But uh, obviously, uh, I'm not quoting exact prices, so... <laughs> Sales, sales guy will help you out with that. This is far and beyond what I need, but this is this is something what I would That's like to do. That's available and shipping yeah. today. So are you guys doing show discounts, by the way? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Oh, no. They're already so cheap. Yeah, I know. That's true. For what you're getting, it's actually pretty amazing. Yeah, it's like yeah. Magic. Very popular. Awesome. Yeah, this one awesome. has both do 3D scan. That's one of the skill sets I was talking about. Um, that's a software upgrade, but the 3D scan basically is, is it, it flies a waypoint mission around an object and builds a, it takes photos and you can use a photo, photogrammetry tool to make a 3D that's, model. That's what I like. Uh, when I saw the video of the, the waypoints or the key, what do you call it? The key, yeah, the keyframe. That's key a frames, new feature set. That's amazing. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's super easy and intuitive. That's the value of these things, you know, someone who hasn't had a lot of time flying immediately would be a very capable pilot. Cool. Yeah. Um, are you guys going to be at the show as well? Or just, just yeah, we have a booth there all four days. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was Ryan who sold it to me. Awesome. I literally walked by the booth and he gave me you guys' sales point, you know, how easy it is. Good timing. And I was like, filing everything now, so. holy crap, talk about easy. Yep. I don't know any other company that makes it as easy as you guys. No, nope, we make it as simple as it can be. Yeah, it's, yep. it's pretty awesome. Which one did you buy? I got the Banish 45. Perfect. Yeah. Matter of fact, you have one here, right? We'll let you shoot it. That's, that's I was going to say, um, can we get footage of shooting all the platforms Absolutely. here? Absolutely. Yep. Okay, we'll cool. Catch you up after this gentleman here. Okay. You, you just got the 45? <laughs> so I got the 45 for my pistol. Okay. Um, I bought another suppressor from another company. Okay. You know, the kiosk. Yep, yep. Silence yeah. But now that I'm in with you guys make it easier <laughs> you guys opened up pandora's box man yeah, it's absolutely. like yeah. somebody told me that like when you buy one when you're waiting that couple of months you might as well buy another one that, so it's that's usually how it goes yeah it's done going forward you're shooting everything suppressed. i'm gonna put this over here did i hear you're a customer now i am a customer now yeah which one did you buy uh ryan sold me on the 40 the banish 45. Now yeah you to shoot it yeah that's what we're gonna do i want to get footage of all of these now absolutely right so we'll um we'll start we'll start with the uh 22 long rifle and then the 45, I'm assuming that's a 45. Yeah, I've got a banished 22. 22. I've got a banished 45 on a 1911. Okay. And then we've got the 45 on the pistol caliber card. And that's also a 45 ACP as well? Okay, cool. Which one do you want to do first? So uh, we'll start small and work our way up. Absolutely. Matter of fact, I have a mic right here. Can you, you mind if I just put this on you real quick and you kind of talk about what these are? Yeah, go ahead. We'll just put it right there. Can you hear me? So just kind of give my uh, viewers out there just a quick you know 10 second overview of all all the guns we're shooting here for sure so we'll start with the banish 45 that's our rimfire silencer that works for anything 22 or 17 or even 5.7 by 28 
Then we've got the Banish 45. That's from the pistol caliber, so 45 ACP, 9 mils, 10 mils, 40 cals, 380, stuff like that. And we also have the Banish 45 again here shown on a pistol caliber carbine, so we can do carbines or slide action pistols. Sweet. Is that good? Yep. And I'll, I'll take this off you here. Bet. We'll edit this all in there. All right, so first up is the 22. Is the 22, you got two rounds? Two rounds of 22, all right. It's off safe. All right, here we go. It's so quiet, you only really hear the action. That's crazy. Yeah, you only really hear the action on that, don't you? That's pretty awesome. Yeah. And it's lightweight, too. That's one of my favorite ones because it's basically Hollywood quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's Hollywood quiet. Yeah, that's yeah. the perfect name for it. <laughs> cool. So we got the uh, 45. Now, this is the one that I own right here. This one you bought? Hopefully, it comes in 90 days. I don't know if it will, but... We'll see what the ATF can do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's a good shot. Now, obviously, this is the long configuration. This is the long configuration. You can take that section out and make it a short size if you and like. And then it'll just get a little louder. Yep. Yeah. All right, so 45 ACP. That's awesome, too, because my mic is right here by my mouth. So it's probably uh, an accurate representation of how quiet that is. That's pretty nuts. Oh, I can't wait to get mine. So will this ship to my house? Yes, we ship it directly to your how door. How does that work? We've actually got a special variance with the ATF that allows us to ship it to your door. So <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere and pay any transfer fees when it comes Oh, to man, I swear. That's like a game changer. That is yeah, so it's awesome. Yeah, a game changer. There's only ones in the country that can ship to your door. That is so cool. Yeah. All right, there we go. Another 45 ACP. This thing is sweet, man. And we're out. There we go. Very cool. Oh man, I can't wait to. I can't wait to have this thing come in the mail at my front door. That is going to be so awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. That is a quick look at the uh, Banish series of suppressors from Silencer Central. You guys are going to be at the showroom floor as well, right? Yes. Cool. We'll stop by and say hi as well over Perfect, there. Man. Looking forward to it. Cool. Uh, what's the website if guys want to learn more? www.silencercentral.com. Go on there, check it out, and call us. We'll be happy to talk to you through it. There you go, silencercentral.com. I, I know, right? So uh, I did... Uh, some video footage of the, the Banished 45 yep. you yep. just sold me. Yep. And he said, hey, you got to go shoot the rifles yeah. too. So yeah. we're going to put this all in the same video. Sounds good. Sounds good. Cool. So right on. on this thing so I can give you a little rundown on Yeah. Here, um, matter of fact, I'm going to put this on you here. Cool. Okay. Sure. Done. And then I'll just have you geek out on uh, what we're looking at. You know at me. Inside. Yeah. Got go it. Go for it. Tell us what you got, man. So this is our new Banished 46 we're unveiling here at SHOT Show. It's a 46 caliber suppressor that'll work on anything 45 ACP, 4570 government, 458 SOCOM, and down. It's also pressurated for your big Magnum cartridges, so 338 Lapua, 375 H and H, any of your cannons, big time. Um, it's all titanium, like all our other Banish line. It's modular, so you got the ability to shorten it. It's fully user serviceable. We guarantee hearing safe on all of those calibers. So that's awesome. Now you got to shoot it. And then let's talk about the <laughs> okay, biggest shoot, yeah. thing. So I, I just met you on Saturday. Yep. I stopped by the booth. Yep. And I walked out in like 10, 15 minutes buying buying a silencer. Buying a silencer. Yes, so sir. Real quick, tell these guys how fast that works. So we handle all the paperwork at trade shows and over the phone. If you want us to send you stuff to do all the paperwork, um, we do fingerprints, picture, trust, ATF forms, all for free. Um, at a trade show like I met you, it takes about five minutes. Otherwise, when you do it from us over the phone, we send you a kit to do your fingerprints. Um, we send you instructions on what we need for passport photos, and we digitally send you your paperwork. So it's all something you can do right from the house. I'm saying it's a little bit COVID friendly. Um, and then what's super nice about us, we got a license all 42 states are legal in. So regardless of where you were from, as long as it wasn't from California or Illinois or New York or any of those states, um, we mail right to your front door. That, say that one more time for the guys out there because it blew my mind when yep. you said this. You guys can mail this right to your front direct, door because correct. you have a special variant. Yep, we got federal variants with ATF, so we can ship direct. You got it. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. So there's no excuses. No. There's really no excuses. You guys are changing the game for sure. Heck yeah. Right on. All right, so that being said, let's get the... Uh, what, what, what caliber is this? 4570 government. So 4570. Okay, Full so it's a big boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So... 
I'm going to close it because that's how this thing's required to load. Gotcha. You're going to have an empty chamber, so you have to rack them in there. And these are full 405 grain, big old heavy ones. And it's hitting that steel all day long, so now it's your turn. So I'm assuming because these aren't suppressor height sights. Yep, you just point and shoot still. So as long as you're doing it right and putting that front sight where you want it to hit, you should be able to make a ring, no problem. So just, uh, just rack it? Yep, rack it one in there. Yep, you got it. And you're ready to shoot. All right, there we go. Hopefully I can get this uh, on steel here. Oh, I missed. A little high. Now, high? one thing, too, you can do about silencers is you definitely don't need those ears if you don't want them. Oh, that's right, huh? Yes, sir. Welcome to the fun <laughs> club. <laughs> I got to break that <laughs> It's hard. It is hard. So I aim a little lower, I guess. Yep, I think so. Oh, oh just high. high. That's all right. You want a couple more tries? I brought plenty of ammo. All right, here, let's go. Yeah. Oh, this oh, one more. I can all, right. Hit on all right, you're good. I'm aiming, I'm, got her close. Aiming high. Perfect. Yeah. Put another one in there. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hold a little low because uh, the suppressor is blocking my sights. Yeah. There it is. Nice work. Cool. So we had a red dot on it, but the battery died already. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew this already before we got here. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, it's good seeing you again. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank yeah. you. All right, guys, check them out. You don't need these anymore. Go to Silencer Central, check them out. So it slows it down. Okay. The Chinese is uh, without. Gotcha. Cool. All right. You ready? All right, we'll shoot the, we'll shoot the, uh, what is this, a Norinco, right? Yeah, we'll shoot the Norinco. Full auto. You don't really see a lot of these full auto Norincos in the United States too much. Ooh, that thing is buttery smooth. That's nice. Obviously, it gets shot a lot, huh? You gotta watch your fingers because this thing is probably really hot. Oh, it's so smooth. Yeah, it's warm. It is definitely warm. All right, here we go. And we're out. Woo! That is pretty awesome, man. So what, what do we got going on over here? All new stuff, or what are we looking at? Uh, yeah, pretty much all this is new, except for one. So uh -huh. this is the new PX9 uh, Series Gen 3. So I can go over the whole the whole sales pitch. Sure, yeah. It's a modular frame, three left side panels, three right side panels, three backstrap, 27 different combinations. You have the ability to add a funnel. If you'd like to, it comes in the box, comes with an 18 round and a 20 round SIG 226 style magazines, okay? You've got an RMR cut here. When you take this plate off, <coughs> excuse me, your sight still stays there. I like that, that's yeah. smart. A lot of people aren't doing that for some reason. Okay, so our company's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We're gun guys. We carry guns, we shoot guns, we do tactical training, three competitions. We're gun guys. Luckily, we're engineers, salespeople, we're still business people. We have to afford our hobbies. So, you've got a Glock style, any Glock uh, sights will work. Hammer forged barrel, um, Glock style trigger, got a beautiful, beautiful pull. Very nice short reset. Can you shoot it? Sure. There you go. Cool, let me put this down over here. These are the skinny bullets. How you doing? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the PX9 Gen 3. Where are you from? All right. Originally. Los Angeles. Before that. By way of you. No, we're dropping. That's the only thing I know that from my last night. That's 30 years ago in college. Better than ever. Yeah. That's nice. I like that trigger. It's a beautiful trigger. It's yeah. a nice reset. Very, very sharp gun to shoot. Very nice. No, no. Yeah. And it uh, uh, came from Amazon. Because <laughs> so. I've, I've got... Get the length on that thing. You just made the I'm, end cap 30 I'm, caliber. Exactly. You see the diameter yeah. on that? Yeah. yeah. Look at the end of an M1. And I, and I, and I made the I cantilevered the, uh, the, the catch in the back of the thing. But I made three different styles of those uh, things. 
That's pretty one cool. One for an M16 bayonet, an M7 bayonet. Uh -huh. uh, one for an M1 carbine bayonet. There's a lot of those around, and then the old, the old dog here, the uh, M1. Everybody seems to <laughs> like that because it looks like a sword. That is so cool. I love it. You're welcome. Put some rounds through it. Scare the hell out of people. With that. Yeah, sure. Did you want to shoot? I'd love to shoot. Yeah, go I'll for it. Go. I'll go after you. You I'm sure, Scott? Well, yeah, oh, absolutely. You well, so, yeah, as you well know, I'm an engineer, not a yeah. spokesman. So That's even better. You're gonna, That's even better, yeah. yeah. Hot luck on what I say. So I'll just do a quick intro, uh, and then you just, I'm just sure. going to talk about what we got here. Just the pumps? Yeah, no, no. We can do all of them. Okay. We can do all of them. Might, be a, might have to cut it until they get right. done over there. So it's officially the Tokarev side, right? Tokarev yeah. branded shotguns. That's right, correct. So we're, we're at SHOT Show Media Day at the range. And we're Scott, and he's got some cool shotguns. The one with the bayonet caught my eye, but he's going to talk about all of them here real quick. So what do we got starting from this side? Sure thing. We got some retro riot guns here, the TX3. That's the Marine version here that's got a nickel finish on everything metal on it. So you got your heat shield, some higher end features like the fiber optic uh, front sights, then the ghost ring rear sights, and the short rail if you want to mount a red dot on it. They come with a 5 plus uh, 1 uh, magazine, but we sell these one round extensions that kind of even out at the end of the barrel so it looks right. This was an opportunity for us to make a shotgun, actually, that we wanted. So uh, we, we set it up uh, kind of like uh, the, the classic guns from the 80s that we grew up with. It's Turkish walnut furniture, which is absolutely beautiful and is uh, not going to be with us forever. So that's, that's quite valuable. This is a gun with a lot of utility, a reasonable price point of around 300 bucks that you're not ashamed to show to people. Wow. 12 gauge will also someday probably come in 20 gauge. I don't have a timeline yet for that. Uh, 870 controls, so there's no training to be done here. Uh, anybody that's familiar with an 870 can pick this thing up and run it. Uh, it's uh, actually going to take 870 furniture in the near future as well. So if you wanted to change up the furniture to something that's made in the U.S., like Mike Pole 870, you could. Oh, I love it. Now, it also comes in the black, which is the same exact gun. This particular one, in addition to having uh, the one-round extension on there, we hung some of our bayonet hardware. We have three different styles of bayonet hardware that we can put on here. This one's the M1, uh, as you can tell by the bayonet that's on there. But we've also got hardware for an M16 bayonet, an M7, and also an M1 carbine bayonet. Those are the three most common ones out there. And this has gotten us a lot of attention here with this, this bayonet. Wh which one's your favorite bayonet? Oh. I, uh, I, all, and when I was in the Army, I had an M7, an M16 bayonet, so that's the one I'm most familiar with, but this is probably the most popular one because it's the longest one. <laughs> awesome. So here we have some, some box-fed AR-style guns from Tokarev. Now, there's a lot of AR-style shotguns in the market now, but this one's unique in that it's got a two-stage gas system. One of the big problems with any of these gas-operated shotguns, whether they're box magazine fed or tube fed, is the range of ammo that you can get in the U.S. that sometimes just will not cycle a gun. Our two-stage gas system allows us to use lighter rounds without... Uh, the liability of damaging the receiver with stronger rounds because the sprung uh, the relief valve, the gas dump, will protect the receiver when you get really strong ammo in there and it really opens up the range of ammo that cycles well in this. Uh, we have five round magazines are what they ship with, but we make a 10 round box magazine. They're all steel. And we also have a 20 round drum. So there's quite a variety of, uh, of magazines available for these guns. Uh, you can hang most things that you hang on an AR on these guns as well. Uh, and, and everyone is very, very familiar with uh, the controls because they're, they're AR controls. And I noticed it's relatively light. It is. There's uh, a lot of polymer on this particular one. This is on the opening price point one. Uh, so you have a polymer front end and a polymer receiver on this one. We do have some higher end versions of these type guns with aluminum in the front and even aluminum receivers in some cases. So there's, there's a lot coming and I'll get you a, a, a brand card of some of our different uh, lines that we're going to be carrying. Uh, but we, we try to Good, better, and best. We try to get something for everybody, right? From the opening price point to the guy that wants to buy all the features. Cool. Let's, uh, let's put some rounds down range on each one of these platforms. Outstanding. Which one do you want to shoot? I want to shoot this one. I knew you wanted to shoot that so we're one. We're going to shoot this oh. pig sticker. That's it, the pig sticker. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Right on. So all right, here we go. You might want to, are you, you going to drop, one, you, you run 870s? Yeah. Then I'll let you go. Okay. All right, you ready, Mike? There you go. Hot!
I think that's it, right? Yeah. That's it. Hope it on safe. How feel to you? Oh, I love it, man. That's nice. And the action's pretty smooth, too. It's, it is a smooth action. Yeah, that's it's all, nice. It's all about the tolerances. All Did about you guys smooth that up before the show or what? Nope, that's the way it ships. <laughs> that's fact, nice. This gun wasn't even supposed to be here. Oh, you know, really? It's supposed to be here in Dallas. Yeah, that's uh, nice. I like uh, it. No, these, uh, uh, we spend a lot of time in the factories. Uh, me yeah. and another engineer in particular. And the uh, more time we spend there, the smoother we can get them. That's, I like that a lot. And for Good 300 stuff. bucks, that's pretty nuts. Obviously, this will be a little bit more with that, right? Well, the bayonet is not included with that. Yeah, that... Uh, I could buy that though if I wanted to. Oh right? yeah, Amazon yeah. sells bayonets. Yeah, okay. Awesome. There you go. Let's uh, let's get this a couple yeah, rounds let me, here. Let me load up a. There we go. Let me uh, set you up for success here on this fellow. All right. So like any other AR, All your right. safety's AR on on your thumb. There's gotcha. nothing in the tubes. You'll have to rack it. All right. All right. Hot. And oh. Feed. Last round. There you go, dude. Lock to the rear. And it locks to the rear. Nice. Yep. Shotgun. Sometimes. If you got a misformed shell that ain't quite round. Oh yeah. It just yeah. doesn't like to go into that <laughs> tube. And let's let's do another mag clean. Let's do another mag yeah. clean. I agree. One second. Let's put that one over there because it's a bad thing. Since we went through all the trouble to get it on camera. Let's do that. Yeah. Put on safe. Let me see this chamber right quick, if you don't mind. No, you're good. Sometimes that stuff gets built up in there. Go for it. All right, here we go. Rip them off. And are we out? Nope. Throw your feet. Oh, am I out? Hmm. What's going on on this one? Oh, now it's locked back. Is that mag locking in? I think I got a mag failure. Oh, it's there. probably the mag, yeah. Put that somewhere else. Did somebody drop that mag? <laughs> you bend feed lips, it can't happen. Yeah. It can happen. All right, here we go. Try that fella. Empty. All right. Actually. Or is that too far in? Yep. These mags have been slammed. And uh, pull, it, pull it out if you can. You got to pull the bolt to the rear. Got Step it. in for a second here. Yeah, okay, you bastard. Uh-oh. I pushed it too hard in there. Well, that's, that is a issue we have with wedging mags. Let me rip this off, please. Stay Go clear. for it. This mag is not a happy mag. Ooh, somebody's feeding ammo. What is a miss with, with this guy? This usually happens when you put a camera on a gun. <laughs> Murphy's Law. You got that right. Clear? Go for it. Still not happy. Oh, not might have to go up. to the other gun. It is not picking up. Yeah. Is it the magazine or is it the gun? Try a different gun. Yeah, that's why we have different guns. That one fed. That one fed. Yeah, sir, give it a go. All right, here we go. Try that fellow on. So let's narrow it down. Is that automatically locked to the rear, or do I have to lock it? Uh, just like an AR. If just no like an AR? There, okay, thing. got it. Insert. That's good. Hit it. Release it. Go for it. All right, here we go. And we're locked. Lock nice. On safe. All 
Got a clean. There we go. Cool. Yeah, maybe that one's been uh, beat up. I'm going to take hard. it apart just just quick as we can <laughs> because something ain't right. Yeah, yeah, right on. Hey, thanks, man. Hey. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it much. Uh, come and see us at the, the show. Yeah, we'll stop by and yeah, say hi. Let me grab this one. RSW group for people that don't know is RSW Aviation, Pro Fence Miniguns, and North Star Arms across there. The beauty of it is you've taken aircraft level engineering, we've applied it to the minigun, now we're applying it to the small arms as well. So everything remains at the highest quality. We're also a company that's made up of 70% veterans and a lot of very, very uh, experienced gun makers as well because it's our chance to give back to the people that are still holding the line. My name's Mark Spicer, I'm actually part of the business development team former sergeant major in the British Army, left that after 25 years, joined a couple of other people's armies, I don't talk about that too much, uh, <laughs> except I managed to be a colonel in King Abdullah's personal guard, so I was an Arab soldier's worst nightmare, colonel <laughs> with a sergeant major's attitude. So now I'm back here working with Pro Fence. What we're going to show you today is the latest iteration of our miniguns. These are the Gen 3 guns. Okay, what makes it the latest generation and outstrips all of our rivals is these guns are a brushless design with a new GCU, a gun control unit. Because of the design itself, these guns are able to have a high and a low rate of fire and they can switch between the two literally at the touch of a button. The other good thing about this as well is the fact that not only can they have a high and a low rate, we can set it anywhere in between those as well. And the actual operator can do that. And it can even change it on a mission and the time work to change the gun rates we're talking seconds, not minutes. Clearly dependent on the experience of the operator. Now with the 5.56, the PF 134A3, you can set the fire rate anywhere between 800 rounds to 3,000 rounds a minute, and anywhere in between. For the 5.56, that you can see hanging on the, eight, the arm of the vehicle, the pirate vehicle there, a little bit more angry than its big brother. That one you can set the rates between 1,500 and 4,000 rounds a minute, and again, anywhere in between. The other advantage this gives us is because it's brushless, because of the accuracy of the GPU, it can very accurately record the rotations of the barrel, which means we can tell you exactly how much ammunition you fired and how much ammunition you have left. We listen to our operators. Two of the things that we were asked. They needed the ammunition ready indication where it's within their eye line. A lot of our competitors put it on the top of the ammo can. Anyone that served in the military knows, once you make contact with the enemy, you maintain contact with the enemy. That means I don't take my eyes off it. I don't want to be looking down at my ammo can to see how much ammunition I've got. I also don't want to click. So what we've done now is we've stuck it in between the spade grips. So all he's got to do is glance down and he can now see what his ready ammunition availability is. The second thing this does as well is the complaint or the actual request we got was everybody would like to have a minigun, especially on a small vehicle like this, who can't carry the ammunition. Now you can, because we can set up these guns, let's take the 134 as an example, the 7.62, we can set that at 800 rounds a minute. So you can now fire that as a normal machine gun rate of fire until you really need to destroy the world. And then with the touch of a button, she ramps up to 3,000 rounds a minute, uh, and that's the end of whatever you're shooting at. So now you've got the ammunition management system that they require to have a minigun on the vehicle itself. The other thing it allows for is low cost in, in maintenance, low cost in training. If you don't need to run that at 4,000 rounds a minute, why do it? Now you can run it at 800, run all your drills, get all your training done, you cut down on ammunition cost, you also cut down on the maintenance side itself. What we're going to do now is we'll move on to the live fire demos so you can see the guns itself firing. Uh, and as good looking as I know I am, I'm going to move over there so you can actually see the guns as we do this. What you're going to see first is the PF556 mounted on the uh, ProFence 8 hanger on the side of the vehicle. Uh, 556 in calibre, a little bit angry, you're going to see where you go. You're going to fire at the high rate first. All right. A little bit angry. What we do now is we'll show you it on the low rate. Hold. 
Now, for one reason, the ammunition. We know this because with a 7.62, the length that is used on 7.62 is specifically rated for the 7.62 minigun because the normal link on it isn't strong enough. That thing's moving at a fair lick, if you imagine, and it stretches the link and causes stoppages. Until now, there isn't one available for 5.56. However, we are in negotiations with Lake City now to do exactly the same and make the professional link. For the 556. What I'm going to do is I'll move on to the 134 now, 7.62 through first in the middle. What you're going to see now is the gun itself will fire initially on the high rate. Now you're going to see the gun fire on the low rate. Now we've got a thumb on that one as well. Not an issue. So the problem with miniguns, and the things you've got to understand about miniguns, is they're very fast, a lot of work in parts, um, and this thing can happen on a major occasion. One of the things that we have done, though, is we looked at the legacy guns uh, that had an awful lot of stoppages, redesigned the, fe the feeder and the D-linker, uh, and that has now caused or, or relieved 98% of the stoppage on itself. Moving on to the vehicle. What you see on top of the vehicle is the ProFence Pro. Our remote weapon station, the smallest and lightest weapon station currently available, with a footprint of 18 inches by 18 inches. The system is able to take either the 7.62 or the 556 weapon. The good thing about this is it is hardwired into a vehicle or it can be Wi Fi. You can operate from the vehicle or leave the vehicle and still operate the system itself. The other great thing about this is on the, the tablet that you run it from. You have the ability to have pre-recorded targets. In this scenario, that is me as a reconnaissance team forward. Before the, the attack, before H hour, I have identified five different locations that I want to suppress on H hour. I can then pre-record those on the iPad, and I can actually set the length of fire and also uh, the rate of fire for each individual target. So I can go high, low, high, whatever suits me best. Then H hour the button, the gun will engage all of those targets in sequence. Okay, what we're going to show you first with this is the gun firing in the high rate. Now we're going to show the gun firing in the low rate. Now we're going to show you the great ability of these guns where you can just flick between high and low rate. So, uh, what do we got here? <laughs> so, what we got new this year is the MP522, and we're making those in pistol and in rifles. Nice. And then we're also doing the VP9 SK OR. Oh, optics ready. So, all the uh, accessories, you know, still work with that, but it has the optic plate, and the optic plates are the same ones we're using on the full-size guns. So, if you already have one for the full-size gun, you can use it on the Oh, other. nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I'll have to get some shots of me shooting that for sure. For sure. For sure. Right on. Cool. Thanks, man. Sorry about that. Hey, no problem. No problem. <laughs> I didn't realize you were filming already. <laughs> All right. HK VP9 SKOR. That's a mouthful. Subcompact with the optics ready cut. I like the fact that it has the optic, I mean, the, uh, the sight on the back. That's nice.
That's nice. Let me go for the steal. There we go. Oh. Going high. And I'm out. Very cool. Go for it. Tell, so tell me what you All right, got. So <clears throat> we've got our ARV, which is the second version of the AKV Scorpion Mag platform. Um, of course, the AKV came first with the Scorpion Mag, so we adopted it to the AR platform. Oh, wow. This is our really popular AKV. Yeah. Um, here we've got our newly released 105, the 54539. Nice. Um, and our really popular. The 103. Um, that's probably one of my personal favorites. We always bring it out. It's one of the better shooting of the 7.62s, in my opinion, from a recoil standpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, we have the, the daggers. Yeah. The optics ready up. version of the current production release dagger. Nice. Oh, that feels good. Mm -hmm. that Shoot frame, it. That frame feels good. Shoot it. All right, let's, uh, let's put some rounds in this thing. You ready, Mike? Ready. That stippling, that stippling is nice. You guys did that's fat, all of that's in the mold. Let's see if I can even hit anything from this distance. Higher low. Yeah. A little low. There it is. There we go. I think I'm uh, fogged up on my glasses here. <laughs> You're hitting a hundred yard plate with a carry pistol. <laughs> I'm surprised I even hit anything with this. Yeah, it did. That's yeah, that's pretty awesome. Let me get out of your way. Hang on. Cool. Let me grab can I get a couple shots on this 100%. one? 100%. What do you think? Nice. You got the right ammo. Three and a half pounds. Three and a half pounds. Three and a half pounds, 40 off. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's a little bit of the ammo. Uh, all right, 545. Five. Yeah, on the brace. Oh, here. So. Yeah. I think I'm high. Oh, I don't know if I was high. I think I was high on that. That's pretty nice, though. Actually feels good. Man. Oh, you all oh, you holding that? That's nice. What can you talk me about this guy? Wanna shoot this one? Alright. Uh, right, let's see if I do better on this. Yeah,
muzzle brake, extended charge and handle, hot fire trigger. I saw a lot of these to law enforcement. Okay, okay. Uh, nice shoulder keeps moving on this thing. Yeah. 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 We sell them at Palmetto. But when it comes in multi colors, I'm gray, black, gunmetal. Yeah, that's our, yep. that's our design muzzle brake on our Ravage. It works really well to control the rear. Uh, so, that, that in C, we also have it in a pistol version. Uh, Better on the heavier bullet for some reason. <laughs> I guess my eyeballs like the heavier bullet than the uh, small fast. Cool. That's awesome. Thank you. Next up. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Absolutely. Yep. What's yeah. the name of your channel? All right. All right. It's called Mix Flip. Oh man, we gotta ride one of these. Looks like there's a bunch of people out here riding. Look at that. Yeah. We're gonna have to go for a ride, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Man, that, that might is harsh. Yeah, that's harsh. All right, you ready? Yep. Oh. Yes. I'd actually like to redo that. <laughs> 15 seconds, though. That's still pretty fast. Yeah, do it again. It's almost like you're unfolding a blanket. I'm getting to the point where <laughs> exhaustion. All right. All right. Ready to go? Nine seconds. Nine seconds. From uh, bag to operation. That's not even a full size backpack either. That's no. a little sling bag. That's awesome. So out of curiosity, what's a bolt look like? Suppressed with the double fold, which was off in the small bag, suppressed. This is a 12 and a half, suppressed, and we also have 16 inch. Cool, so cool. whichever you want, you want to fire. All right, I'll do this one here. You want to try this? Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks good for camera. Yeah. Right here, watch this. It will fire in this configuration. Oh. <laughs> hey, Mike, we got to get a shot of this. Yeah. It will fire in that configuration. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. So, you notice, here's the fire on stage. You can lock the rear pocket when you're done. Get it back to me that way. Okay. So keep it up and down range at all times. Low one five round magazine. Okay. All right, you ready, Mike? All right, here we go. So, can you shoot this with it folded? Yes, sir, you can. Okay. Oh, okay. You got it? All right, here we go. <laughs> That's awesome. And we're out. Yep. Yes, sir. Cool. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Do you ever have anybody close this? Thank you.